wing surfing is really fun and easy too if you come to the sport with a lot of background in water sports. For example, knowing how to foil, uh, whether it's windsurf or kite surf or prone foiling. If you know how to sail, whether it's windsurfing or kite surfing or just general sailing, there's a lot of crossover. And for those people, they pretty much step on and go. The learning curve is really steep, especially if you already know how to foil. For those of you who don't come to this sport with a lot of background, I want to show you our progression of how we teach at HST. We start the lesson with just learning how to handle the wing. From there, we progress to a windsurf board with a dagger board. This large platform allows you to learn the basic skills of sheeting, steering, turning around, just how to make the board go without the complications of the foil. Just a quick note, it's impossible to cover everything that you need to know in this short video, but I'm going to do my best just to outline a few things. One of them is you're always going to have a leash on your wing and you're always going to have a leash on your board. When you're entering the water, you always want to have the wing flying, wing tips up, and have the board, whether it's your windsurf board or your foil board, you want to have it to windward. That way you're keeping your wing away from the sharp edges of your foil. This same technique you'll use all the way through. Now if you're at a location where the wind is onshore or offshore, your technique is going to vary. But in general, you want to keep your wing downwind of your foil. Depending on your ability, you may want to do your first few runs on your knees. The goal here is simply to sail out, turn around, and sail back. And you want to do this a number of times before you get to your feet. Let's do a little troubleshooting here. There's two things that can happen here that people have trouble with. One is the wing tip catches the water and causes the wing to flip over. When the wing tip touches the water or even gets close to the water, you want to push down with your back hand and lift with your front hand. Lifting up on the back hand will actually cause the wing to flip over. It's counterintuitive, but you have to press down with the back hand and pull up with the front hand to clear the wing. Another common problem is heading off the wind as soon as you get on the board. It's important that you get the board turned up wind and sailing across the wind as you practice. This minimizes your downwind drift and minimizes your walk back up the beach. Getting the board to turn up wind can be a challenge if the sail is sheeted in. You'll notice that Chloe is luffing the sail as she turns the board into the wind. Once the board's turned up wind, move both hands to the boom, place your front foot in the center line of the board or near the center line, and stand up. From here, practice sheeting, steering, and turning around. And above all, staying upwind. To turn around, use the same technique you used on your knees. Start by bringing the wing overhead and switching your hands. Then, put your hand on the leading edge of the wing and press to the outside of the turn. Switch your feet as the board transitions. Once you've turned it 180 degrees, move your hands back to the boom. With a little practice, you'll be able to make this transition without removing your hands from the boom. When you're comfortable powering up the sail, sheeting in and steering, as well as staying upwind, then you're ready for the foil board. We'll cover the basics of the foil board in part two, coming soon.